Good morning. Welcome to the Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Diana Galata, Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I'm proud to be your MC today. Congratulations to each and every one of you for your selection as Citizen of the Month for your school. Your hard work has paid off, and we are very honored to recognize you today. It is now my pleasure to introduce a graduate of Hampton City Schools, our superintendent, Dr. Linda Shiflett. Thank you, Mrs. Galata. It's so great to see all of you here this morning. How many of you saw some frozen white stuff falling out of the sky this morning? I did too. Uh, it's amazing how strong a whole winter seems to have on us this year, but guess what? Next week is what? I knew everybody know the answer to that. And it's going to be beautiful so that we can all enjoy our time away from school and then get ready to come back for the big push for the end of the year. I do want to add my congratulations to each and every one of you that are here today. You're here because of something that you did very special, and that is that you're a good citizen in Hampton City Schools. And I always wish that we had the time so that each and every one of you could talk about the reason why you were selected. I would love to hear that story. But unfortunately, we don't. So what I want to do is to urge you to continue to do those things that make you stand out from everyone else, that make you the kind of person that gets selected to be here. And it's because you're a role model. Whether you realize it or not, you're a role model for so many other young people in your school. So keep up the good work. And I look forward to seeing you throughout the rest of the school year. And um, I hope you enjoy your lunch and have some time away from school to socialize with some of your friends around the table. And so I would like to now introduce someone who has been a very good citizen for a very long time in our community, and that is Mrs. Martha Muggler. She's our school board chair. <clears throat> and Ms. Muggler, if you please come up. Thank you, Dr. Shiflett, and I must say that uh, somehow or another, I've been in meetings all morning, and so I missed seeing the white stuff come out of the sky. Because normally when I see the white stuff coming out of the sky, I'm sending a text to Dr. Shiflett saying, it's snowing! <laughs> uh, we've had a lot of uh, exciting text exchanges this winter, and we are all looking forward to a wonderful spring that brings a little bit less... Uh, eventful weather to us. Um, I, I have the pleasure of uh, acknowledging some special guests that we have in our audience today. Um, and uh, first, I will mention our um, city manager, Ms. Mary Bunting, who's with us today. And she'll be sharing some words of wisdom with us a little bit later in the program, but we're very honored to have you with us today. In addition, our vice mayor, uh, Ms. Linda Curtis is here. And um, I'm also joined by some of my colleagues on the school board who took time out of their day to come and join you for lunch today. Our vice chairman, Mr. Dave Pearson. And school board member, Ms. Monica Smith. as well as school board member, Mr. Jason Samuels, right in the center there. So I want to take uh, just a minute to congratulate each of you. As Dr. Shiflett said, um, I think you all probably know something special that you did in your schools, although I took a took a walk around this morning and chatted with several folks at their tables and said, well, what did you do to become, be named Citizen of the Month? They were like, I don't know. Um, and I think that may say something in and of itself that you all are just especially good um, individuals and you just are doing good things on a regular basis, so nothing in particular might stand out in your mind. But there are um, what folks consider sort of five themes or pillars to good citizenship, and, um, and those are um, honesty, 
and um, compassion, respect, responsibility, and courage. And I think courage is probably uh, one of the, the most key of those themes because you have to have the courage to be all of those other things. You have to be courageous enough to uh, step up and uh, show compassion to others and respect to others and act in a responsible manner. And um, so you all are the folks that do those things every day in your schools. And we um, on the school board and in the school administration and in our greater community really find all those things that you do quite outstanding. And that is why we um, hold this lunch uh, on a quarterly basis in order to honor those of you who are acting as good citizens in your schools. And so congratulations again to each of you. Um, we could not have these luncheons without the great partnerships in our community. And today's lunch is sponsored by two uh, really great and outstanding partners, one being Thomas Nelson Community College, and our other sponsor today is Wells Fargo Insurance. Um, do we have representatives from either of those two um, partners with us today? I didn't think I saw either of them, but let's give a round of applause to those sponsors for today's lunch. Without their partnership, we couldn't do these lunches, and so we, we want to acknowledge their, um, their support of Hampton City Schools and all the great things that our students are doing. So enjoy your lunch. Congratulations again. Thank you, Mrs. Mugler. Now it's time to get to know a little bit about each of you, and I know that that chocolate cake is staring you in the face. So we're gonna try to get through this as fast as we can, um, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of directions. Um, I'm gonna start over here, and we're gonna walk down here. I'm gonna walk down here with the microphone, and I'm gonna ask each of our citizens of the month, when I come around with the microphone, to stand up, face one of the three cameras in the back of the room, preferably the one that has the red light on, and state your name and your school, because your mom and dad and grandpa and aunts and uncles and cousins will be watching this on Channel 46 or on the internet, so we want to make sure that we can hear you and see you. So we have a, speaking of courage, Ms. Mugler, we have a very brave young man who volunteered to go first, and his name is Braxton from Burbank, so we will start there. My name is Braxton Wade Bonilla, and I go to Burbank Elementary. My name is Andre Talha, and I go to Burbank Elementary. My name is Sadie Jensen, and I go to Burbank Elementary. My name is Lan Wynn, and I go to Burbank Elementary. My name is Ernest Coltrane, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Jada Wilson, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Sarah Crow, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Artavia Little, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Najee Johnson, and I go to Phoebus High School. <clears throat> My name is Marcos Nava, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Jace Garner, and I go to Phoebus High School. My name is Emma Nigel Perrier, and I go to Johns Highland Elementary. My name is Nyla James, and I go to Tyler Elementary. My name is Styles, and I go to Armstrong Elementary. My name is Destiny Devayer, and I go to Armstrong. My name is Molly Hansen, and I go to Armstrong. My name is My name is Diamond Coppage, and I attend Armstrong. My name is Miracle Chadwick, and I go to Armstrong. My name is Jose Martinez, and I go to Armstrong. My name is Logan Miner, and I go to Armstrong. 
My name is Megan Smith, and I go to Barrett. My name is Ilya Shogli, and I go to Bayon. I'm Brooke Bird, and I go to Barron. I'm Shukai, and I go to Lindsay Middle School. I'm Shaka, and I go to Lindsay Middle School. I am Tayana, and I go to Lindsay. I am Brady, and I go to Barron. I am Madison Pitzer, and I go to Smith. I'm Deshaun, I'm Deshaun Bostic, and I go to Sims Middle School. I'm Layla, and I go to Smith. I'm Cameron Tatum, and I go to Sims Middle School. I'm Riley Patty, and I go to Sims Middle School. I'm Ayanna Wardrick, and I go to Sims Middle School. My name is Cynthia Tatum. I go to Eaton Middle School. My name is Elijah Richardson. I go to Eaton Middle School. My name is Jalen Johnson, and I go to Eaton Middle School. Hello, my name is Jennifer, and I go to Eaton Middle School. My name is Danielle Johnson. I go to Eaton Middle School. My name is Salma Montessa, and I go to Eaton Middle School. My name is Quartez Reynolds, and I go to Andrews. My name is Dakari, and I go to Honeybee Andrews. My name is Nate, and I go to Andrews. My name is Chris, and I go to Tarrant. My name is Sanaya, and I go to Tarrant. My name is Lashaya, and I go to Tarrant. My name is Shawnee, and I go to Tarrant. My name is Isis London, and I go to Andrews. My name is Yannick Gay, and I go to Andrews. My name is Josiah Silver, and I go to Andrews. My name is Noah, and I go to Andrews. My name is Garrett Mosser, and I go to Oda Lindsay Middle School. My name is Michael, and I go to An Bassett. My name is Janaysia, and I go to Bassett Elementary. My name is Emily, and I go to Lindsay. My name is Christian Roman, and I go to Bassett Elementary. My name is LaMonica Barnes, and I go to Bassett Elementary School. My name is Joseph Jackson, and I attend George P. Phoenix Middle School. My name is Anicia Bass, and I go to George P. Phoenix School. My name is Nyla Inkwin, and I go to George P. Phoenix School. My name is Charles Poland, and I go to George P. Phoenix Middle School. My name is, my name is Morgan Perry, and I go to Smith. My name is Alicia Thorpe, and I go to Smith. My name is Curtis Young. And I go to Phoenix. I'm Lauren Gray, and I go to Phoenix. My name is Meta McNeely, and I go to George P. Phoenix School. My name is Jordan Dupree, and I go to Aberdeen Elementary School. My name is Emily Epstein, and I go to Phoenix. My name is Rachel Cobb, and I go to Phoenix. My name is, my name is Veronica Martin, and I go to Cary Elementary. My name is Jacob Abbott, and I go to Cary Elementary. My my name is Marcus, and I go to Cary. 
My name is Ja'Asia Boykins, and I go to Aberdeen Elementary School. My name is Amia Richardson, and I go to Aberdeen Elementary. My name is Jacob Summers, and I go to Forest Elementary. My name is Antoine Tate, and I go to Forest Elementary. My name is Jada Timmons, and I go to Forest Elementary. My name is Angela Stukes, and I go to elementary. My name is Ben Langell, and I go to Kikitan High School. My name is David, and I go to Kikitan High School. My name is Peyton Grubb, and I go to Kikitan High School. <laughs> My name is Malik Watson, and I go to Kikitan High School. I promise the more you get up in front of people, it gets easier. I promise. It may not feel like that today. I'm Jane Jackson, and I go to Phillips. My name is, my name is Colby Levins, and I go to Phillips Elementary. My name is Kamari Drew, and I go to Cooper Elementary. My name is Mary Reed, and I go to Cooper Elementary. My name is Arnie Michelle, and I go to Cooper Elementary. My name is Alex Michelle, and I go to Cooper Elementary. My name is Nathan Moore, and I go to Craft Elementary School. My name is Brooklyn Shauna Monaco, and I go to Craft Elementary. My name is Madison Prophet. I go to Craft Elementary. My name is my name is Cameron Moy. I go to Ebony Craft. My name is Ricky Cordner, and I go to Spratly Gifted Center. My name is Kayla Wiggins, and I go to Spratly Gifted Center. My name is Jericho Nicely, and I go to Spratly Gifted Center. My name is Jelani Rollins, and I go to Spratly. Spratley Gifted Center. My name is Sierra Jones and I go to Spratley Gifted Center. My name is Madison Winecoop. I go to Phillips Elementary. My name is Skylar Gideon and I go to Phillips Elementary. My name is Kiana and I go to Davis Middle School. My name is Brianna, and I go to Davis Middle School. My name is Felin Gonzalez, and I go to Davis Middle School. My name is Elia, and I go to Davis Middle School. My name is Kirsten, and I go to Asbury. My name is Alexis Haley, and I go to Francis Asbury Elementary. My name is Ashley and I go to Davis. My name is Ashanti Williams and I go to Asbury Elementary. My name is Victor C. Fuentes and I go to Asbury. My name is Sierra Carr and I go to Booker Elementary. My, <clears throat> my name is Namaya Perry and I go to Booker Elementary. My name is Naki Perry, and I go to Booker Elementary. My name is Patrick Holm, and I go to Booker Elementary. My name is Kelly Freeman, and I go to Hampton High. My name is Imani Short, and I go to Hampton High. My name is Josefina Leando, and I go to Hampton High. My name is Gloria. I go to Langley Elementary School. My name is Zafira, and I go to Langley Elementary School. My name is Jonah, and I go to Langley Elementary School. My name is Kylie Willis, and I go to Langley Elementary. <laughs> My 
My name is Danielle Henry, and I'm a freshman at Bethel. My name is Tayana Carter, and I'm a junior at Bethel High School. My name is Maya Evans Harris, and I'm a sophomore at Bethel High School. My name is Logan Wetzler, and I'm a senior at Bethel High School. My name is Glomar Baiza, and I'm a senior at Bethel High School. Hello, my name is Devondria Braxton, and I am a junior at Bethel High School, home of academic excellence. Yeah. My name is Naima Muse, and I go to Machen Elementary. My name is Jeffrey Flowers, and I go to Jones. My name is Mikhail Ricks, and I go to Machen. My name is Margarita Rentschler, and I go to Jones Magnet Middle School. My name is Emma Mitchum, and I attend Machen Elementary. My name is Kylie Swartz, and I go to Machen Elementary. My name is Nyla Jennings, and I attend Jones Middle School. My name is Tony Hudson, and I, I'm a senior from Hampton High School. My name is Anthony Walker, and I'm a junior at Hampton High School. My name is Alexia Yao, and I'm a junior at Hampton High School. My name is London Ray, and I go to Jones. My name is Natalie Fall, and I go to Jones. My name is Anna Corsi, and I go to Jones. My name is Jabari State, and I go to Tucker Caps Fundamental Elementary School. My name is Emily Grantham, and I go to Tucker Caps Elementary. My name is Christiana Brooks, and I go to Tucker Caps Elementary. My name is Angelina Bogard, and I go to Tucker Caps Elementary. My name is Casey Smith, and I go to Janet's Park Elementary. My name is Chris Garner. I go to Bryant Elementary. My name is Elijah Warren, and I go to Albert Ryan, Bryant Elementary. Let's hear it for our Citizens of the Month. I know some of you have already eaten your chocolate cake, but we are going to eat lunch now, so enjoy. Hope everybody, sorry about that. I hope everybody enjoyed their lunch. Was it good? Y'all ready to go back to school? I didn't think so. Before, we, before I introduce our speaker, I did want to acknowledge that one of our sponsors did come in, um, Greg Snow with Wells Fargo. If you'll just stand up and give a wave. Thank you very much for sponsoring our lunch. So our speaker today is City Manager Mary Bunting. In 2009, Ms. Bunting became the first female City Manager for the City of Hampton since the position was created in 1956. She followed in the footsteps of her mother, who was city manager in Roanoke for many years and also enjoyed a career in public service. Ms. Bunting began her career with the city of Hampton as an assistant to the city manager in January of 1990. In January 1995, she was promoted to assistant city manager. She has many highlights in her career, including the creation of the award-winning 311 Customer Call Center, consolidation of three separate permit functions into a central permit office, development of Hampton's crime and grime campaign, organization of innovative neighborhood initiatives, including the creation of the neighborhood office and coordination of the city's emergency planning and response efforts for Hurricane Isabel and Tropical Storm Ernesto. Because of these initiatives, Hampton has been named an all-American city for the third time. In 2012, Ms. Bunting was named a White House Local Innovation Champion of Change. 
She has a master's degree in public administration from the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University and a bachelor's degree from Johns Hopkins University. She and her husband, Mark, have three children, Parker, Carter, and Hannah, and they also attend Hampton City Schools. Mrs. Bunting. The most important part of my background was not mentioned in that introduction, and that's I'm a proud product of the Hampton City School System. For those of you in the room who went to Burbank, Eaton, and Hampton, those were my home schools, and I think you are attending wonderful schools. The other ones are great, too, but of course I'm partial to the ones that I went to. I'm a crabber. Once a crabber, always a crabber, right? Can't crush a crab. I am, I am delighted to be with you today to share a little bit about, I was asked to talk about what I think makes for a good citizen. And um, there are so many things that make for a good citizen earlier. Um, school board chairwoman uh, Martha Muggler was talking about how many of you didn't know how you came to be here today. And that it was probably reflective of just the fact that you, you do everything right every day, all year long. And I think that's really, really true. I mean, being a good citizen is really ultimately about being a good person. And, um, you know, you all exhibit those traits each and every day. So I probably don't have anything to say that you don't already know. But it's nice to reflect on the things that, that make you special and why you ended up here today. And I'm just proud and glad to be part of your special day with you. Um, as I mentioned, I was a product of the Hampton City School System. Uh, I had a mother who was a public servant when I was little. She was the social services director for the city of Hampton. That's why we were living here in Hampton. And then later she decided she wanted to go into city management. You heard um, she was a city manager too. How many of you know what a city manager is? Most people don't. The city manager is basically a paid position to be the chief executive officer of the city. So I'm responsible for overseeing all of the public services that you get from your city government, your police, your fire, your libraries, parks and recreation, community centers, all the things, the trash pickup, those things that really matter in our daily lives. And um, my mother wanted to do that, and I got to see her do that, and I decided, you know, I'd like to do that too. And um, I got all my preparation that I needed here in Hampton City Schools. So as you're going through your career here, please know that your, your school system is preparing you to be a wonderful contributor in a professional life one day, whether it's being a city manager like I am or a pediatrician like one of the young ladies I was sitting with at lunch. Um, you, you, can, you are getting the start for what you will do when you graduate and contribute back to society, and we hope you choose to make Hampton home as I ultimately came to do as well. But as I think about that journey from my Hampton City School days until now when I get to serve my hometown as its city manager. Um, all the things that, you know, there's a lot we have to learn. If you're gonna be a pediatrician, you have to learn about science and math, or if you're gonna be a city manager, you have to learn a lot about government and um, people relations, how to get along well with people and how to build coalitions and make things happen. Or if you wanna be an engineer, you know, you're gonna learn a lot about robotics and, and engineering and those kinds of things. But to be successful in any job, um, you need to be a good citizen or a good person. And those are what we're honoring you for today. So I, I looked up, I wanted to see some really inspiring things, in, inspiring words to share with you. And I was looking online last night to um, just see some things I could share with you about what other people have said about citizens. And I plan to just give a few different quotes from a lot of different people, but as I was, I was looking, I found this um, speech that was given by Scott Warren. I gotta, I'm sorry, I'm getting old, I have to wear reading glasses now. Um, Generation Citizen Executive Director, and he was talking about um, sort of an epiphany or a, a realization that he had when um, he was preparing to speak about civics. And, and this just, it, may, it just really resonated with me. It really made a lot of sense. So I wanted to share it with you today. Um, as a backdrop, I'm not gonna read his whole speech, but as he started to give his um, preparatory remarks, he had planned to talk about some great citizens that he had studied in history. He was gonna talk about um, Nelson Mandela as an example and what he had done in South Africa um, and some other role models that he had had. And then he realized that his best lessons in life for how to be a good citizen and how to be successful came from his own mother. 
And um, I think that's true in my life, and it's probably in, in true in all of our lives. Someone in our family, whether it's a mother, a father, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, or just someone in our family, a sister or a brother, uh, probably is one of the, the biggest influences in your life. So let me just share a little passage from what uh, Mr. Warren said. I, I think this is so, so appropriate and so apropos. Um, he, he said, when it all comes down to it, unlike Nissan Bandela and Jackie Robinson, my mom is probably not going to be in the history books. In my account, she did lead a successful life. She was a probation officer and managed a small business. She worked with women in self-help projects in Zimbabwe and volunteered her all, whole life. But what is important is not only that she's a good citizen, but she's a good person, an incredible person. She is kind. She is generous. She brightens the day of anyone who comes into contact with. She is honest. She listens. She puts the needs above others above herself. She pushes me to be a better person, a person that she would be proud to call a son. And in this end, she's made a difference in so many lives, in my life. And then he goes on to say, and this is the part that I really, it really made it important to me. So why is this relevant to you? Why should you care about my mom? Uh, because the truth is, being a good citizen and being a good person are one and the same. In order to really make this world a better place, in order to really make a difference on all the issues that you, that you think about in today's world, whether it's teen pregnancy, public transit, gang violence, you need to use all the skills and knowledge you learn throughout the semester in being a good citizen, but you need to be a good person. And um, he talks about that sometimes being a good person is a really hard thing to do because there's so many influences in our life and, and um, a lot of our media or a lot of the games that we play or you know, a lot of, sometimes other people in our schools, they're trying to get us to think only about ourselves or or to do maybe things that we know aren't the right things and they're pulling and tugging, but a good citizen and a good person knows the difference. And, a, and I go back to what uh, Chairwoman Muggler said earlier about courage, having the courage to do what's right and to be a good person. Um, and, I, and I just think that's really true. You know, sometimes we, we try to make, sometimes in, in, we make things harder than they really need to be. And being a good citizen is as simple as being a good person. Smiling when someone needs a smile um, helping someone to have a better day when they're having a rough day, uh, making sure that you don't make um, you know life difficult on your family or your teacher or your friends, and helping out where you can. It can be that simple. And just imagine how much better our world would be if everybody practiced every day being the best kind person they could be. You probably all have an example of a time or maybe you were down, maybe having a bad day, and someone came up and made you feel better, right? Can you think of a time like that? Yeah, I think we all can. And that, that's at the heart of being a good citizen, is being a good person, just being kind to one another and helping each other out. And I have no doubt, like I said at the, at the beginning of my, my words of wisdom here, that I don't need to be telling you this or else you wouldn't be in the audience. You all are already doing this. But it's a good time to us, for us to reflect and to remind ourselves that these things are valued. And I'm so proud that Hampton City Schools and our sponsors, such as Wells Fargo, take time to celebrate being a good citizen. So, so many times we, we celebrate the achievements of athletes, and, that, and that's important, or we celebrate the achievements of, of children um, who get all A's, and that's important, and I hope most of you are striving to get all A's, right? I mean, that's a good thing. Um, or we might celebrate the accomplishments of a um, extracurricular club, like, like one I worked with, was the Battle of the Books. I see one of our members in the audience. Um, we like to celebrate those things, but it's also important to remember that those things aren't anything if you're not a good person at the heart of it. You know, you can be a good athlete, but if you're mean to people, that doesn't really get you very far in life. Or you can have all A's, but if you're mean to other people, it's not going to get you very far in life. Or you can do really good in an extracurricular activity, but if all you care about is yourself, you're not going to get very far in life. You know, probably the thing that makes my job um, go better each day is if I take the time to be kind to people. I take the time to listen and understand what it is that they want, what their vision is for our city, how they think we can make our city better, and find ways to work with them. And the, the really good thing is you all already know these things or else you wouldn't be here today. So I have no doubt that you will be successful in life if you continue to be a good citizen and remember that being a good citizen is really just about being a good person. So today we celebrate you 
We thank you for being stars in our school system and in our city, and we look forward to seeing you come back to one of these luncheons in future years when you continue to show that you're both great people and great citizens. Thank you for all you do, and thank you for making us feel so optimistic about our future as a city. And don't forget, when you go off to be a pediatrician or you go off to be an engineer, that one day we want you to come back home to Hampton, just like I got to come back home. There will be a place for you when you're ready to be here. We hope you choose Hampton, not just now, but in the future as well. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bunting. We do have a, a gift for you. I, I hope you like Hershey's chocolate. Oh, yes, always. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? <laughs> Thanks again to our sponsors and congratulations again to each and every one of you. Shortly, we will dismiss our students by bus number and also don't forget your packet because it includes important information about when this will be on television. Congratulations again, have a great day.